Well, 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 what do we have here? More rats scurrying about my realm? I must say it's been some time since I've had something fun to play with. And you three look just delightfully delicious. I do hope you'll stay. Rats make such wonderful subjects, but they are so very easy to kill. I hope you last longer than the last ones did. I swear, some only seem to last a minute or two before they... Snap. I trust you are all a bit more durable, though. If not, it would be quite a disappointment. I'm sure it goes without saying that I am the last person you want to leave disappointed. A little birdie told me you were heading for Swindler's Claw. Dangerous place if you don't know the right folks. If you got the coin, I can take you there. I'll introduce you to some colleagues of mine. Just don't make the mistake of thinking that anyone you meet around those parts is trustworthy. Half the town would ship you as soon as look at you. The other half will just pickpocket you. The good news is, if you give me your coin now, you won't have to worry about misplacing it when we get there. What are lowlifes like you doing in my fields trespassing all over my petunias? You're going, oh, don't tell me. You're adventurers, aren't you? Well, where's the adventurers that come round here bringing trouble, no regard for working folk around them, you're probably going to ask me about the lost cave of guess. Only reason you type come this way, it's about a mile north of here. But you better make sure your affairs are in order if you mean to go that way. I send a group of travelers that way once every few months. And none of them have come back yet. So. I can only imagine what horrible beasties are working in there. Now get out of here and watch the petunias. Well, 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 but isn't my main man, what up, my dudes? How's it going? I see you have a few tag-alongs this time around. That's cool. It's so chill, man. Listen, I know that the last one I sold you wasn't so hot. But I got a buddy of mine and says he'll sell you a boat for 80 gold. This guy is the real deal, I swear. Matter of fact, he patched it up himself. Got a full mast and a working rudder and everything. And I know what you're gonna say. You don't want to pay that much money after the last time we talked. I get it. That's chill. But hear me out. I like you guys. You really did me a solid by saving me from those thugs a few months back. So, here's the thing. I'll front 20 gold to help you pay for it. And if it blows up, no big deal. The money is yours. If you like it, next time you're in town, just pay me the rest of the dough and everything is solid. You guys game? Hey, how's it going? Come to buy some masks for the festival tonight? I've got a variety of wares. Made them myself, you know. Cotton, wood, resin, you name it. You folks look like the type to be looking for more exotic masks. Don't deny it. I can see that look in your eye. Yeah, you, the tall one. I see one has caught your fancy. Oh, you must be eyeing the dragon mask. Rather perceptive, I see. That one's the best of the bunch. Took me a full week's work to make it. You know, <laughs> those are real dragon horns affixed to the nice resin. I wanted to use real dragon scales, but it made the thing far too heavy. Now, I won't lie to you. 
That one's the most expensive of the batch. But I'll make you folks a deal. If you tell people where you got the mask, I'll give you a bargain of 500 gold pieces. What do you say? I believe that an adventure should be more than killing a dragon and taking its treasure. The journey is more important than the destination, as they say. It isn't the dragon and the hero's defeat. It is the wonderful places they go, the friends they make, and the moments they share along the way. It's one to many pints of ale in the rundown tavern. It's the soft whistles of an undedicated dart trap. Thankful smiles of the people helped along the way. I want to dance to every song I hear and tell a spooky story at the campfire I have. I know it won't be all fun and games, but I think life can sometimes be most precious when it's at its most trying. I can tell that it isn't my purpose to lie and wait for destiny to find me. I have to go and make my own. And even if I can't solve every problem I'm faced with, I want happiness to follow in my wake as best as I am able, like sunflowers in the thick of spring. Life is what you make it, and I want mine to be like the ones in fairy tales. Thank you for listening. I'm an amateur voice actor. I've been reading audiobooks for a couple of years on Twitch and want to branch out. If you're interested in working with me, you can contact me via email at starloidnation at gmail.com. Scripts were written by K.R. Cooley. Examples were designed for Dungeons and Dragons. If you'd like to hear more samples, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Thank you so much for your interest. You have a wonderful rest of your day or night. Love, Trina Wylington.